Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this episode, I would like to show you how to do numbered pages. All right, so we are going to pick up where we left off. So on the bottom here, we have the next page and I have added a few more posts so we can go up to three pages now. So we will see the numbered uh, pagination a little bit better. But first thing I want to take care of is making this look a little bit better with the previous and next page. So let's go ahead and open up our index page in our home directory. And let's find this component here. I'm going to go ahead and give it a class of uh, pages. And uh, then I will go ahead into my site.css. I'll scroll down right to the bottom. And I'm going to add this class called pages. I'm going to give it a display of flex. And uh, flex direction, we can set it to row. And the next thing I want to do is I just want to justify this content center so it's just centered okay uh, next thing we can go ahead and uh, make these uh, buttons look a little bit better or rather uh, make them look like actual buttons so uh, let's go ahead and say dot pages and let's give it a bit of padding so first thing I want to do is let's just start with one rem I'll give some background color of, uh, let's start with gray. And the actual color will be white. And for this one, for, for the actual pages, I want to give it a little, a little bit of margin on the top and bottom. So I can just go ahead and say 2 rem. And on the sides, I don't think it will matter too much on the sides. But here I just want to append the A element. So any link inside the pages block will receive the styles all right so let's go ahead and refresh the page and see what it looks like and let me actually refresh it okay so here we have the previous page the next page uh, we can't see too much of uh, what's it called of separation between them so we can go ahead and give a border of 1px solid and mm, i guess a little bit of a lighter shade of gray nice the padding may be a little bit bigger, uh, a little bit too big, I mean, because what I want to do is I want to add something like this. So I just want to make them pointy arrows. Okay, so if we want to go to the next one, we can do it like this. If we want to go to the previous one, we can do this. And this is optional, but I'm actually going to go ahead and give pages a bit of margin. So I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle the 0 0.25 rem on it and on top and bottom I'll keep it 0 so this is what it looks like now and uh, I am happy with that let's go ahead and add the numbers now actually you can see on hover uh, we are getting the text underlined so actually let's make let's make this look real pretty and take care of that so on hover I will go ahead I'll take the background color that I have here so let's actually make this a bit darker. A A A, and here I will just use nine nine nine. Okay, so it should be a little bit lighter and go darker as I'm hovering over it. Okay, and we can still see the border between them as well. So now we can say text um, decoration none. So we don't want them to be underlined anymore. And there we go. And the pagination still works as expected. Okay, so let's go uh, go ahead and take uh, uh, care of actually displaying numbers. So at the moment, the information that we have regarding the page that we're at, if I go into the index view model, so we know the page number that we are at. I know we know basically the next page and the previous page that we work out on our index page here. So basically, if we're above one, display the previous one, right? So the really, really simple solution that we're first going to attempt is just display all the pages because we don't have too many of them, right? So let's go ahead and say public and um, we can say page count. Okay, and we'll just basically display this number. Uh, let's move it up top with uh, to be along with the other integer. And now, wherever we set our other information, we want to set the page count there as well. 
So that is going to be in our repository. So let's go into data repositories and open the repository here. Okay. We have the page size here and the way we find out how many pages we have is really, really simple. We just want to get the total count and just divide it by the page size and we will end up with the amount of pages that we have. So let's go ahead and type in page count. We can say post count and divided by page size, just like this. Okay. And now in our index.cshtml, what we can do is we can just iterate for the amount of uh, pages and basically assign the page number here to the page that we want to jump to. Okay. So let's go ahead and create a for loop. We will start at one. Okay. And actually I forgot the at sign. So let me go ahead and put that in there. So let's put the brackets. So we'll start at page number one because we don't really want to start at page zero. And the next thing is actually, I forgot the I here. So I will be less than or equals. So we actually want to be able to jump to the third page if we have three pages. All right. So let's go into model and let's just grab the page count and let's just increment our page count here. Uh, let's go ahead and put in the link here. I'll format this back and the category can stay. That will work fine. One thing that I just want to replace this with is the I. Okay. And again, I can just put the I here as well. And this should do. So let's go ahead and run the application and see what we get. Okay. So let's scroll down and you can see that we get page number one, number two. And if we, we can still uh, sort of skip um, ahead with the previous, uh, with the next and previous button, or we can go to a page straight away. Okay, you can see one, we're missing the third page, which we can still go with the, what's it called, with the next uh, button, but we can't actually navigate there with the number uh, button. So you know, the way, uh, the, the reason this has happened is because when we did our division here, the operation here has been rounded down. So what we can do is convert one of them to a double and round around it up. So the way you would do this is you would call the math class from system and we can call ceiling, right? So it's going to round it up and we will need a decimal in here. And the way you would convert it to decimal are actually, yeah, let's check the overloads before we proceed. So I'm not uh, talking anything, right? So we either need a decimal or a double. So we need to be working with floating points. Now there is a couple of ways we can do this. One of the ways it was we can just multiply by 1.0 and this 0 0.0 counts as a double. Uh, one thing we will need to do is because ceiling returns the double, we will need to convert it back to int. Okay. So if you don't want to do this to, uh, to do the conversion, what you can do is just convert one of them to a double and that will work just fine as well. So let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. Okay, and now you can see that we get page number one, number two, and number three. We can jump straight to page number three or go to page number one. Okay, so this is all fine and dandy, but one problem that we're going to run into is if the page size, let's say I'll turn it down to two and uh, let me go ahead and run this again, you can see that we can get quite a few pages here. And uh, if, uh, if let's say you have like a hundred posts and here I have only, oh, let's jump to number six. I have like 11, 12, 12, 13 posts. I'd say I have here. And uh, again, if you have like a hundred posts and you have two, uh, two posts per page, this can grow quite quickly. But the solution for that can be quite long winded and uh, I'm going to settle for this right now and I'll cover that in other episodes, but ep episode, but for now, let's go ahead and uh, give this an active class. Okay. So we can see what actual page we are on. So let's go into site.css and let's create a pages, a 
active so we're gonna give it an active class and the background color let's go ahead and make it uh, I'd say a little bit lighter so we're gonna go closer to white which is going to be FFF so if we have a B C let's go and grab C and um, now what we want to do is basically say if I is equal to model dot page not count page number so basically if we are on the current page let's go ahead and give it a class at the moment uh, the, the basic there are two solutions so the first one would be very um, verbose uh, let me type this out so we have an else uh, else statement and we'll basically say right if we have a uh, oh forgot a closing bracket if we're on the page let's go ahead and type in class um, active and this will basically give us what we want so let me refresh and there you can see we can see what page we're on okay another thing uh, th the thing about the solution is that we are retyping the component name twice. Uh, what I think is a better solution is basically creating a local variable so we can call it, a, it will be a string because this is essentially a string and we can say something like active class equals active, but only if this condition is true. So let's go ahead, stick this condition here. Let's check it and then oh and i'm typing in javascript here so let me fix this to double quotes otherwise it should be an empty string all right so if this condition is met put active if not leave it empty so now we can get rid of uh, this here and set our class to active class okay and let's close this and another thing we can just go ahead and remove these brackets here because we're already sort of in a C sharp world because of this at and for loop here. So let's go ahead and refresh this, see if we still get the same thing. And we do, which is nice. So this is a bit of a cleaner solution. If you want to simplify it a little bit further, if you don't even want the at class uh, active class even showing here, let, you can put a uh, what's it called just parens here uh, preceded, preceded by an at sign and we can go ahead grab this expression and put it inside here and now we don't even need to have a variable anymore let's go ahead and refresh this and there we go so this is how we would give this an active class and this will be it for this episode thanks for watching if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your grandma, and as always, see you in my other episodes. Have a good day.